Hi everyone, another part on the T20 input shaft um, renewal. These are all the, um, well, major parts I'd say, more or less, um, <clears throat> that I've taken off the tractor. Just thought I'd go around, might be, you know, helpful to someone. These bolts here, bottom right hand side, left hand side, these are all the relevant bell housing bolts. These are the two, they're all the same length, bar the bottom two. And the bottom two go through the sump. The right hand side, that's all uh, all on the carburetor side. They're all very easy to get easy to get to. Left hand side, of course, there's three where the starter motor is. The top one has a clip and that holds the wire to the starter motor. Um, all the other parts, I know some of it I've taken off like the like the um, the clutch pedal stop. I've taken that off because I'm just going to give that a clean up and a lick of paint, just tidy it all up. And so with the radius arm holders, they would be a bit grubby, so I, you know, take them off, clean them up. Same goes with everything else, and so do the pedals. Of course, that's the brake pedal. That slides straight through the bell housing. You saw that in the first video. That was, you know, easy. Just slightly tap it out with a mallet, and eventually it comes out quite free. And the one behind it, let's move this one out of the way. The one behind it is the clutch pedal, and that is the clutch fork. And again, that is held in by two bolts. There you go, they sit in there. They have then got castle nuts or castellated nuts, whatever you call it, with a split pin through just to stop them working loose. They came off relatively easy, they just slide straight out, and then they then allows you to be able to tap the shaft out and remove that. Otherwise, you know, if you leave these shafts in, unfortunately, by the time you get to taking off the input shaft and the sleeve, really, of course, the two, the flanges on the bottom and in the middle, these ones are for the clutch springs, which are these to sit in. They loop in on like that, which then hold onto the release bearing, which is here. You can see the holes there, which is where the spring goes to. You can see just by the little marks there, exactly where that clutch fork rubs. As I said before, the bearing is in very, you know, unusually good condition, really. No movement at all. Um, so that's uh, another positive thing. <clears throat> As for the actual sleeve here, of course, that sits in the transmission with the input shaft down the middle, obviously. At the end, we've got the four bolts, which then bolt to the... Um, front of the transmission um, you can see the bearing race there on the top bit for the obviously the, the main shaft where the bearing sits in and then you've got this part here is the you know is the is the issue the original seal and as I can see you might not be able to see in this light but that is a leather felt type seal and it's safe to say that the felt has just completely worn away with age so the next stage will be to you know, tap this one out, out of the housing, and then insert a new seal, you know, get them very easy, very cheap. I think that cost one pound with that, you know, it's relatively easy. A lot of work for one little seal, but as you say, better than having all your transmission oil all on the floor. So that's all the relevant parts that I've removed. As for on the tractor, I'll just give you a little show round. Again, all that's left, is obviously the input shaft and I'm going to leave that in there because I think if I remember at the back there is a pair of shims washers that if you move the shaft it can they can drop down to the bottom of the gearbox and I'm not quite you know not you know I'd rather take as much a little apart as possible where I can so I'm just going to leave that shaft in and say it's happily sat in there with no problem you can see if I find a torch. I can't find a torch now. At the very back there, you might be able to see it, is of course the four holes where that where the um, sleeve sits on. And you can see the bearing there for the main shaft. That's relatively it. And you can see here where the clutch shaft was and the brake shaft had gone. And then you just simply, then you just slide it all out. Um, it's very quite a straightforward job. A lot of it, you can sort of see how it comes apart. Um, 
You know, it's the first, you know, first time I've, re I've had this tractor apart like this. So everything you can see is more or less somewhat original. I know I am aware that the engine on it was re is a factory reconditioned unit. And by the, stat by the date stamps on it and on the clutch, it was around about sort of um, August 1965 that was done. Um, so a rough estimate. So it's been 50 odd years since it last came apart. Um, that's all, you know, relatively straightforward. Again, it's just the worst part is splitting it. Everything else comes apart quite easily. You know, other bits that were a little bit fiddly was on the brake control rods here. The little clevis pins, you know, they a little bit tight. I put some penetrating oil around them, let them soak for a little bit. And then they eventually get a pair of mole grips on them and you can just slow, slowly start to work them. And eventually they start to come off. Um, the next stage is obviously to put the steel back in, give all the parts a good clean up. Again, paint some areas that need tidying up just to keep the tractor looking a bit, you know, a bit more presentable, give everything a good degrease as well. And then eventually it'll be reassembly. And um, I'll show it all reassembled back in inside the bell housing. And then the next bit will obviously then be to begin to put the front half of the tractor onto the back half. You know, probably it can be a bit tricky because obviously you're going to have to line up the input shaft into the obviously into the flywheel there, into the clutch and the flywheel. So you need a little bit of wriggling, but so far it's been quite an enjoyable enjoyable project really. So I'll keep you updated on the, in the next video on what we go, what's happening. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.